Hello. Uh, two years ago, a team of four was thinking, can we create the whole value chain of product development in Armenia? Create ideas, create concepts, attract investment from venture capitalists, companies, and then enter the different markets, global markets. It was a crazy idea. That was the uh, the most, uh, you know, the most uh, feedback that we were getting from friends, even from family members. They were telling us why you have this stability of outsourcing projects. We were doing outsourcing at that time. You have this stability. You have these projects. Why you need this uncertainty? Uncertainty on creating ideas, attracting investors, and we didn't have any connections to investors. So why you need it? Do what you have, because this is a country where there are no many opportunities. People are happy just to have a job, so you have the job. Why you need all this uncertainty? And we tried. In two years today, we have free venture-backed products in different markets. Just uh, received uh, seed financing for two more products for U.S. market by U.S. investors, and two more products are on the way to get financed. And we are establishing a totally new business in Armenia in totally different segment than IT in agriculture, because again, that was our idea to connect demand with the supply and help Armenian farmers through using of the IT. So we tried. And, uh, you know, uh, as we are moving forward with our learning experience in new product development and innovation and becoming a bit more mature in selecting things that work from things that doesn't, I thought it will make sense to share the principles that we really learned the hard way. And I think those principles can form a manifesto to people that can make a difference in this country, our youth. So. Ah, uh, that was our story. Dream big, start small and fail. Do we really realize in what time we live today? We have all the tools, all the means to enrich our ideas, to verify our concepts, to test our products, to connect with people, get advice. We didn't have it like 10 years ago. I remember myself 10 years ago thinking about creating a first e-commerce site in Armenia, and I was, I was stuck with the proprietary software because there was no open source. I was stuck with the issue of how we will connect to the community or how we will create that community. How can we make a cost-efficient marketing? We didn't have social media at that time, and we have it today. And we really have to realize that today you can create idea being in Armenia, not only in San Francisco or Boston or wherever. You have that empowered today. Start small and fail. I think one of the key attributes of to be manager, to be executive, or to be entrepreneur is the ability to start small, to start lean, when you have highly limited resources. I think that's one of the key attributes of a successful businessman and then scale accordingly when you have some traction. So, uh, frankly, I think that's the, that should be key model in this country when we have highly limited resources. Telling frankly, I don't believe that let's create, I don't know, IT city in Gyumri or financial city in Dilijan. I think in this country we have to yet make some smaller steps, learn, and then just think about the scalability and fail. We totally change our perception to the failure. For us today, a failure is a result and not the conclusion. And when you get the result, it means that you have all the data to move forward and not stop and complain. So try new things, fail, get the results, learn and move forward. Find your passion and know your identity. Why would we like to complain so much in this country? We don't have opportunities, the country is in blockade, and you know, it's, I think it's just because it's easy. It doesn't assume any action. It's just a reaction to something, the easiest way we can do. But you know, I think we have to, uh, today, we, as we already discussed, that today is like an incredible time to try new things. Today we have to think about harder questions. Can we just stand in front of the mirror and say, am I doing today something exciting? Am I doing something inspiring? 
And we really have to ask those hard questions and answer them because we have that, we have that opportunity to change it today. And you know, the worst thing that when we complain, uh, the worst thing that we do is that we hate our job, we think that it's not in, uh, inspiring, but we call it somehow stability, which we want to change. But there's not a stability. I think that's a stagnation. So we really have to ask the hard questions, answer them, and move forward. You have that opportunity today. Know your identity. We make the identity of the companies and not the vice versa. I met uh, many people, not in Armenia, but in uh, different countries who are working for some big-name companies, and they were just somehow represent, uh, presenting me the brand of the company as if it's their identity. But it's weak and wrong, because you have your own identity. Why you select the simpler and easier way just because that brand is already established? Think about how to establish your brand, how to contribute, how to stand out. Because again, you have that opportunity today, disregarding whether you are in Armenia or in different country. Connect with the community and share the knowledge. Uh, I think community is a word that we yet have to realize the whole potential in Armenia. Community is something that uh, make any movement, any idea sustainable. Because otherwise, it's just one man or two men show, which won't be sustainable. So community is a way of interaction, is a way of sharing the ideas. And I remember ourselves uh, developing the products that we had. Initially, we were thinking that the more close we are, the better to sustain our ideas. And then we understand, no, all the people, creative people, are uh, ready today to help you, to enrich your idea, to give you advice. So don't be afraid to connect with the community. And sharing the knowledge. Sharing the knowledge is something that we call like a Zen level or the highest maturity level of all these principles. Because, you know, we think that sharing the knowledge makes you stronger. Why? Because when you're sharing the knowledge, you are emptying the space for the new knowledge to come. And if you are not sharing the knowledge, you are not becoming stronger. Okay, you may be strong having some knowledge, but you are not making stronger. So that's another thing that we have to learn in Armenia, share the knowledge, share the ideas that we have, because it makes actually us stronger. So if we look at all these six principles, what pattern, like a bigger picture pattern, do we see? Well, the dream big and start small that fail is a part of our perception perception on creating things. Knowing our passion, understanding our identity is a part of our attitude, attitude on trying new things. And connecting with the community and sharing the knowledge is a part of our behavior on spreading the ideas around. So all these three attributes form a culture, a culture that in this case has all the ingredients to make a difference in this country. Thank you. Thank you.